Although sometimes we don't like to admit it, if you're experiencing these things, these are some signs that you're in a toxic relationship. Welcome, greetings, I'm Pastor G.J. Barnes. We're here on this channel. We learn how to live better lives by having better relationships. Today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how to know if you're in a toxic relationship. A lot of times we are in toxic relationships, but sometimes if we're not careful, we can normalize them. And so we're gonna be looking at some key indicators, behaviors that determine that truthfully, we're in a toxic relationship. One of the first indicators that we're dealing with a toxic relationship, we're dealing with somebody who shows constant disrespect. You know, a relationship is supposed to be really a safe place, a place of love and endearment. But when we are finding ourselves in constant battle with somebody because they're constantly disrespecting us, that right there shows toxicity. You are not a person who should deserve constant disrespect. I don't know who you are and I don't know what you've been through, but I've come to encourage you to let you know today you do not deserve to be disrespected it doesn't matter if it's a relationship on your job if it's a relationship in your family if it's a romantic relationship or a spouse you do not deserve to be disrespected people have to realize that each and every person, no matter their background, no matter even their mistakes, their choices, even sometimes bad decisions, people still deserve respect. And if you find yourself in a relationship where people are constantly disrespecting you, that is toxic. Another indicator of a toxic relationship is aggressive communication. You know, it's kind of on the heels of disrespect, but sometimes we don't realize that we are dealing with a person who constantly provides aggressive communication. Aggressive communication is people continually yelling at you or cursing at you or saying things to belittle you. It doesn't matter who you are or where you've been, nobody deserves to be yelled at and treated with disrespect. Aggressive communication also includes name calling. I want you to know that nobody should be calling you out of your name. Some of us may be in situations where people have done this as a habit, and if we're not careful, we will allow it to continue because we've gotten used to it. But can I encourage you today? You are not a person who deserves to be called out of your name. Another form of aggressive communication may not be yelling or name calling, but sometimes it can actually be the absence of communication, extreme ignoring or people not responding to you. That right there is a form of aggressive communication. Again, aggressive communication is really a sign of disrespect. And sometimes you've got to realize that a relationship is how two people can come together and be really a blessing to each other. No matter what you've been through, You've got to be able to understand that if somebody that you're in a relationship with shows signs and symptoms of aggressive communication, that is toxic behavior and you do not deserve it. Another form of toxic behavior is substance abuse in the relationship. Now, there are a lot of people who use a lot of substances and many of those substances are not things that are used to the betterment of our bodies. But the reality is, is that people often act differently when they are partaking in substances. And sometimes if you're not careful, you can be in a relationship with somebody who abuses substances, abuses prescriptions, abuses drugs, etc. Now we all know that addiction is a disease, but the truth is, is that a disease does not provide an excuse for you to be in a relationship with somebody who's treating you badly simply because they are abused to substances. You have to watch out and you have to make sure that when these red flags are showing themselves in your relationship and somebody is abusing prescriptions, or abusing drugs or abusing substances and that abuse is spilling over to how they interact with you, I want you to realize that you do not deserve to be in that situation. That is a toxic behavior. All right, another indicator that you're in a relationship with somebody who is toxic is when they 
are continually seeking to control everything you do. Now, somebody who has what we call a spirit of control will seek to control not only big things, and I'm not talking suggestions, I'm not talking ideas, I'm not talking, you know, some things that can perhaps help your life. I'm talking people who want to control everything about what you do, where you go, what you see. And oftentimes, controlling people will use as an excuse sometimes some kind of fear or some kind of worry or some other reason to justify their control of you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And although it doesn't mean that every decision that you make is going to be perfect, no, it won't. But that doesn't mean that it gives somebody else the right to control you. Because if somebody is seeking to control you, that is not out of the spirit of a healthy relationship. I don't know what you've been through. I don't know what mistakes you've made, but can I tell you this? Nothing can justify somebody having continual controlling behavior in a relationship. If you're experiencing that, I want you to know that is toxic. Something else that we see a lot in relationships that causes toxicity and something we should not put up with is constant lying. You know, the Bible speaks against false witness. And if you're in a relationship and you're dealing with somebody who continually lies, you've got to make sure that you mark that as a toxic behavior and something that should not be tolerated. You know, sometimes people think, well, you know, as long as I lie and it's for a good reason, the lie was justified. Well, whether it's a small lie, a medium lie, or a big lie, lying is toxic. Lying over little things, lying over where they've been, lying over inconsequential things shows you that this person is struggling with lying. And lying isn't something that you should be tolerating. There are times when we catch people in constant lies, but we just justify it or we create excuses for it. I want you to catch this right now. You do not deserve to be lied to. Even if the truth hurts sometimes, and guess what? I know the truth can hurt. Even if it's difficult for people to tell you the things that they don't want to tell you, the reality of it is, is that you do not deserve to be lied to. Lying is a toxic behavior and you don't deserve it. Something else that you also have to realize is toxic is if people continually operate with threats, seek to coerce you or intimidate you in doing things that they either don't want you to do or doing things that they want you to do. Threats, coercion, and intimidation is toxic. Any relationship built off of threats or coercion or intimidating or things that people are telling you that you got to do and if you don't this, that ain't built off of a healthy foundation. That is toxic. Don't let somebody give you an excuse for why that is. Don't let somebody bring up your past as to why that is. Don't let somebody bring up your mistakes. Doesn't matter what you've done. Doesn't matter where you've been. Anybody threatening you or having constant threats, anybody seeking to coerce you or say that if you don't do this, I'ma do this, I'ma take your this, I'ma do this to you, that's not healthy. And if you're in that situation, that is a toxic relationship. There are people who seem to relate to other people by always intending intimidating them. I'm going to out intimidate them. I'm going to tell them what I'm going to do to them. I'm going to bring all my, all my ammunition to do. I'm going to bring all my firepower to them. That is not healthy. All right. If you're dealing with that, if you're experiencing that, I want you to know right now, that's a toxic relationship. Piggybacking on intimidation is what we call gaslighting or manipulation. Hmm? Gaslighting or manipulation is when somebody seeks to turn around their bad things and try to make themselves the victim, right? You have a try to confront somebody on perhaps even one of these toxic things and say, hey, this is not right. But they take that conversation, flip it around, make themselves the victim and try to put it back on you. See, that is manipulation. That's what some folk call gaslighting. That is not healthy. That right there is toxic. If somebody can't receive when they make a mistake and you call them out on it, if somebody can't receive when they do something wrong and somebody can't receive legitimate constructive criticism, that that right there shows you that this is toxic. The final thing I want to share with you today on this video, how to know if I'm in a toxic relationship is if you're dealing with any physical, emotional, sexual violence or abuse, I want you to understand something right now. That is a toxic relationship. I don't care what you've been through or how many mistakes or things you've done in the past. You do not deserve to be in any kind of physical, 
emotional, sexual, or any other manipulation of abuse or violence. You are a child of God. You are a woman of God. You are a man of God. You are somebody who, as I said before, is fearfully and wonderfully made. You have your flaws. You have your, your mistakes. You have your past. Just because you've made mistakes before in the past doesn't mean that you have to succumb yourself to abuse. I hope today that you understand that toxicity is not a standard. It is not something that you deserve and it is not something that builds a great future and it is not something that can be the foundation of a healthy relationship. I want to encourage you, brighter days are ahead. I want to encourage you, a better life is possible and I want you to know you do not deserve to be in a toxic relationship. I hope today's content blessed you. I hope you were able to get something out of it even if it were not for you. Hopefully it was for somebody you know and I want to encourage you today no matter what you've been through, no matter what you are, you're better than a toxic relationship. If you found something in this video that was helpful, I want to encourage you, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to share your comments or any encouraging words, I want to encourage you, go ahead and share that in the comment section. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel because we're going to be bringing more content relating to living a better life and having better relationships. I'm Pastor GJ Barnes. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.